right. Um, as I said in the beginning when I first started hiking trails, this is going to be the last trail. We're on Hassel Way at the beginning of Winona Way. And now, we're doing this trail early because there's another trail, Odo's Ridge Trail, which this ties into, and I have, and it's on both ends, so I have to take Winona Way to get to that trail. So, we'll see the first half up until Odo's Ridge Trail. You can see, uh, it's kind of a steep climb in there, but you got a little bit of a parking space. I just didn't want to pull in there and park at the gate, and I didn't want to hang out into the road. So I kind of shoved it up in there. There's a little bit of a parking thing up there. So this is Hessel Road. Not much to look at, it's just a, a typical seasonal highway. Went no one away. And a little creek and bridge. Uh, there is some weather coming in, so we'll get what we can. Hopefully I can get Odo's Ridge Trail done today. Alright. Let's start the intro. Alright folks, here we are at the... Whoops, sorry. <laughs> well, here we are folks at the Winona Way. We're going to hike part of this trail today. Because uh, <laughs> it's springtime and, it's, you know, by the time I'm done with the trail, there might be leaves on the trees. But there's a specific trail that this one hooks into on both ends. But to do that hike, I have to hike this one, so I might as well shoot footage of the Winona way right now. We're in the Winona State Forest. That borders Lorraine, Jefferson County, Mansville, Boylston area. It's part of the Tug Hill Plateau. This trail is five miles long, thus it's going to be a multiple thing, multiple trip trail. So if you see, like right now, the leaves are just budding, and by the time I'm done and they're all in full bloom. Yeah, it's a long trail. But we're doing this part because I have another trail I want to shoot from. And it's a shorter trail, and this trail loops around it. This is a grand finale trail. Five miles long this trail is thing that saves me and is able to do it multiples is a bunch of other trails run into it so I can park at another trailhead and have a shorter walk I won't have to worry about walking the five miles because there's no way I can do that in one day and then I come through a stone wall here and from the stones here so we're crossing over a stone wall right here. That's about how far are we are from the road. There is some weather moving in, so we kind of have to expedite the walk. Usually I'll take my time and observe, but I'll observe hastily. No one away is the longest trail in this conservation land area. I was distracted briefly. I, ooh, almost walked right into that. <laughs> Speaking of being distracted, obviously you didn't see that coming. Today is May 2nd. Hmm. I'll turn this way a little bit. Now this is you don't hear every time. This is only when there's a weather front moving in. Okay. I think it was Bill's Belly. The episode we did on the Bill's Belly Trail. 
if you heard it. You can hear the interstate in Sandy Creek. All that vehicle noise is from Interstate 81 in Sandy Creek in Mansville. We're five miles from that interstate right now. So much for the ambient noise. Sorry folks. Even five miles away you can still hear the interstate. That being said, we should not hear any more scary freight trains because they already both went by at night. Stonewall. That's the second one we're crossing through. That's a different Stonewall from the one we just crossed through. Might as well document it. And there's one over there too, actually. I could barely make it out in the... See, now in the summer, when the leaves come out, you will not be able to see that over there. Which is why I like documenting in fall and springtime before the leaves come out. Fall, obviously, when the leaves change color and start falling off. Because you don't get to see a lot of this stuff. When there's ground growth and trees and leaves. And here's, because this is the last trail. <laughs> Let's go, if you guys have time to look at the Larrabee Trail. There's a creek I could not hear. I was standing right over it, could not hear it. I could hear this one fine. That's the Raspberry Larrabee Trail. If you want to hear creepy, that's the only trail I've been creeped out on so far. I could hear this creek. Or, you know, I could hear this water flowing, but for some specific reason, I could not hear a darn thing, even the water. And I made a mention to it on the camera. I'm like, how can I not hear that? <laughs> it was creepy. I was expecting a cryptid to jump, a cryptid to jump out. I can hear this fine. Would you like to hear it too? like a cut through here. There's a stone wall and it's like a cut, like there's a purpose. I wish I could know the history of this area. Can I climb up on here? Let me try something here. Oh yeah, there you go. You can see a clear cut right through the, you know, it's almost like a railroad cut, but there, it's impossible to have a railroad in here, but that's what it reminds me of. It's like a railroad cut. Straight line right up the mountain. Right through here. Straight line. Rock wall. Rock wall. And on this side, this looks like it used to be an old road. So obviously something significant might be up ahead. This is the first time I've walked this trail, so I do not know what's going on. You're seeing it for the first time as I'm seeing it for the first time. Unless you like the video and you watch it multiple times, but... Anyway, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. I'm kind of concerned about the chair right here. <laughs> Rock walls followed us the whole time. This is just creepy. The 
this is what you're looking at if you sat down on the chair. And then this, I always document these every time I'm on the trail. Yep, the screwed up tree. What is going on up here? <laughs> this looks fun up ahead. Here's the intersection we should be familiar with. We've done an episode on this trail. We're coming across Thai Trail. And New York State is the only state where it would be sunny and raining. Anybody else have words about it like that? Um, Please leave a comment, because it's raining, and the sun's shining right now, as you can hear. <laughs> That's our weather for you. Sunshine. Rain. Anyway, <laughs> here I am, still on Winona, Winona Way, and there's the Thai Trail. There really wasn't much to see on that trail. So, we're passing Thai Trail, we're going to continue on. Thai Trail was not the recommended trail. <laughs> it's just a connector trail. And here's that stone wall. We're now passing that stone wall on this side now. There's your intersection for Thai Trail. I know there's a ridge right here. So, carrying on Winona Way. Thai Trail is a connection between Winona Way, Winona Way and Shady Shuttle Trail. Bridge coming up. Oh yeah, there you go.
I hear a creek right below us. There's the next trail marker coming up, and this is the trail I've come for. Uh. Oh, Toe's Ridge Trail. This is the next trail we're taking. Now the sun's come out, so now we got the flying insect issue to deal with. So bear with me. At least you just have to see it. I have to deal with it. So you might see something crawling up your lens. Okay. This is where I'm going to step on the Winona Way, and uh, we'll continue on here shortly. Actually, let me check a reference real quick. We're going to continue on uh, it, Winona Way. It connects to Bernie's Bypass, which is another trail I've recently done. So we'll continue on Winona Way. So I bring, you know, defense. Don't mind that. You just have to see it. I have to deal with it. It's the same thing side side. Here's 
that trail. This one we should remember. I've done this one before. Bernie's Bypass. So we are at Winona, Winona Way and Bernie's Bypass right here. Uh, I'm going to change my plans up. I'm going to continue down a little ways and hook into another trail and it'll, it'll be a loop trail for me. So we're going to stick to Winona Way and there should be another trail coming up that connects to the other end of the trail I was going to take. So uh, let's see how this goes. All right, another trail junction. This one's got a map on it too. We're getting maps put out. Went on the way. And Fink Sancy. We have not done an episode on Fink Kings yet. You see what I'm intending to do? We started with Nona Way right here. Came up, across, Thai Trail, continued on. I was going to go down the Odo's Ridge, carry on, Bernard's Bypass, Frank Francy. We've not done the Frank Francy yet. We're going to take this trail, hook into this, reverse, and then go out. That's the plan. So, when we're on our way at Frank's Fancy's South Trail. Until another day. And then we'll carry on from there. All right, I can't show you much of this trail. This trail's not done, but it will be. So we're just gonna make our way over to my next target. Continuing on Winona Way. My last shoot was went on no way to Frank's Fancy and we got off at Frank's Fancy to check out the Odo's Ridge. So we've not seen the Fr Frank's Fancy yet, but we're back on Winona Way to continue to the road. So you're going, f where are we? We're taking the Winona Way to North Church. That's where I'm currently parked. I hiked in all the way to the Frank Frank's Fancy to hike it all the way back, to, as in the continuance, because we've already hiked the first leg of it before. So pretty much, I can't reach the map. Why am I trying to reach the map? I could just pull it out of my pocket. That's the same map I have as that one up there. But again, I opened it upside down. Because <laughs> we hiked Winona Way from Hessel Road all the way to Odo's Ridge, and then I continued up Winona Way, you know, to Frank's Fancy South. That's where we are right now. So we're going to do the Winona Way to Church, North Church Street. And then we'll pretty much be halfway done with the window on the way. As I said many times, that this is going to be a multiple <sighs> trip for window on the way because it's five miles long. But this is where we made it to on our first segment. So we're continuing on to 
next segment from here. So we're at Winona Way. You know, Frank's Fancy. Continuing on. So, here we go. Winona Way. From Frank's Fancy. Quite chilly out. <laughs> yeah, it's getting quite chilly out. <laughs> it's still supposed to be as in the corner. I'm in East Boylston. So it's 41 degrees. Oh, that is creepy. What happened to that tree? Now mind you, I don't pinpoint locations. If you want, if you find something of interest in the video, like if you were interested in that tree, look at that messed up tree, you're gonna have to hike the trail and find it. <laughs> That's a good thing about editing is cut and paste. <laughs> I can, you don't know if I'm one mile in or if I just walked in or if I'm five miles in. You, you wanna see it, you're gonna have to come hike it for yourself and see it in person. Sorry, folks, can't give all the spoilers away. That over there is disturbing in itself, too. If I could get a good angle on it, right, right here, maybe. Not only that it marks our tree growth issue, but apparently all the growth went into the growth, and the tree died afterwards. Poor tree. Yeah, so it was pretty still. The rain had already passed through, so... Got some wildflowers here. <laughs> What's left of them? More disturbing trees. <laughs> Sorry. Just too disturbing for me to pass up for the viewers that like disturbing trees <laughs> in, the, in that category. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> There's a nice disturbing tree looking right at you. What is going on here? Here's one where you can actually look at a tree growth. High def. If anybody's tried to actually cut into it, you know, cut, if they had to cut a tree down, they actually try to figure out like what went on inside the tree to make it do that. <laughs> you know, kind of like that one over there. What went on inside the tree? to cause it to do that. It'd be interesting if they cut it out and okay there was like a small rock about that size in there that, that caused the tree growth to look like a tumor. You know it's those little things that scratch your head. Those things you only see when you're out for a hike you know. Be one with nature they said. <laughs> It'll be fine they said. Now they come out with more disturbing questions with no answers. Oh, sorry, you're still on? <laughs> oh, 
go for a hike, they said. <laughs> okay. This is really disturbing. You seen a sign where a tree might have fell over here? Because usually, you know, the trees fall over the roots pop up. Where's the tree that fell over? <laughs> this is something out of a sci-fi movie. That is creepy tree. Normal, the creator said. <laughs> How? You want to get out of here before I get a curse? Yeah, sounds like a good plan to me. I apologize folks, I don't like face cams, but YouTube and algorithms and whatnots and require you to have some. So, to make up for my disturbing face shot, enjoy. <laughs> you can wipe that bad memory out of your head right now. And replace it with this nice one right here. It's not a bad shot, huh? I just noticed there's writing on some of these. And the ditch. Oh! 
Maybe we're going to dig a ditch to run some of this water off. Yeah, nice tree. Turn again because this tree. I'm going to call it that. It's creepy. It's a creepy trees. I read what you say. Start ditch. So start ditch. So it must be digging something down through there to help keep the water off the trail. Huh. We'll see when we make a remake of the video, I guess. See what's changed in a few years. Coming up pretty close to the end of this this leg of the journey. You can see the North Church Road right here. We made it to North Church Road on the Winona Forest Trail. We're like halfway done with that right now. Again, it's multiple parts, so obviously, see, I'm parked right here and I'm gonna call it after this. And we'll come back another time and do more. So, North Church Road.
On to the next segment. Here we Again. Went on the way. We're going to hike it down to the weather end there. So, nice sunny day today for once. So let's go for a hike. Continuing on, went on away from North Church Road to our next spot. Say goodbye to the car. Um, yeah. It's another trail. I've already did a video on this other trail. I can't think of what it is right at the moment until I see the name. You see the hiking trail off to the side here. Jimmy John. Yeah, oh, yeah, that was a creepy trail. So we're at Jimmy John. And Winona Way. Those that are interested in the Jimmy's Jaunt Trail. It's up on YouTube, so Jimmy's Jaunt Trail for a creepy experience, but we're going to go this way today. Staying on Winona Way. And again, you can see where they actually divert the flow of water so the water doesn't come downhill and wash the trail out. Well, that's, that explains what's going on here. They made a berm and diverts the water that way so it doesn't come flushing the trail out. And then they got all these ruts over here. This is the only place I see them do that with. Of this stone wall. That took a lot of effort. Just abruptly stops right here.
Uh, I hope this isn't going Native American. These stone walls. As you got one over here. You can see the bridge sign, so we're really that far up from the bridge. You got a pile of stones in a circle. So you crossed over the stone wall to this side. And then way out here. Stones in a circle. There's a pile of stones. Another pile of stones. Act like there's a purpose they did it in. It's on the way out there. And that is a huge stone wall. Concrete. Three bags of concrete. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, that's it on the stone wall. It just peters right off. Oh, yeah. 
So what happened there? I mean, that massive stone wall has been falling for like a half mile. Just went to nothing. And this video brought to you by Two Girls. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that in every episode. Nothing else exciting out here. <laughs> I see a trailhead coming up. Oh yeah, there is a trailhead coming up. I almost didn't see it. Can you see the trailhead? Real quick. Yeah, how about now? Can you see it now? Okay, we're crossing over Hotskiss, I think it is. Right here. Yeah, here's Hot Hotskiss Trail. Let's just see how much further I have to go from here. Okay, we'll continue over to Howley Road. Yeah, okay, we'll continue on from here. Yeah, if you want to see the map, I'll just show you the map. So this is the part we covered today, and then there's just this much left. We'll go to Har Holly Road today. And just get that much for one way left. After all of this, <laughs> it's five mile trail. This has got elevations on it. Nice. <laughs> so that's where we are right now. Oh no, no way. That's just through that way. We're going to carry on to the main, or if you want to call it main road, we'll carry on to the road. It's not really a main road, it's a cow path. <laughs> so we'll carry on. Winona way. There's a creek coming up. This looks like it got annihilated in the heavy rains we had. See the road washed out. Yeah. I think you're coming up to the road.
reached your destination for today's trip. That stone wall is back. Creepy boulder piles are back. <laughs> Should get a good view of it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what's up with those boulder piles. Seems like something Native Americans would do to bury. Well, they put rocks on top of things, graves. Holy road. Trail continues on the other side. any place to park a vehicle alongside here so yeah, this one I might have to hike into and then run you back from the spot there's really no pull-off spot here here's the trail looking that way that's the one we just walked all right I want you to look at it that way so here we are in the journey. I got one more trinket for you on the way back. I'm gonna do a full walk of that stone wall. So you can see the extent of it and length of it. He's at a ski here. It looked like he's tripping. <laughs> oh, that's me heading back. <laughs> All right. Well, hope you've enjoyed. Got one more thing in plans for you. This literally scared the crap out of me. From my perspective, it looked like an anal. You know, you got the ears, the eyes, like a huge, oh, what they call it, something just hanging out behind the tree there. I'm coming up, I'm like, whoa, what the heck is that? That's eh, just a tree. Don't look like an animal from that perspective, though. The front paws, the ears, the head, that is creepy. That's my perspective right about right there. And with the way the sunlight's hitting it. <laughs> Almost had an accident. <clears throat> and I'm like, I just got done, finished up with you right here. Turned around, started hauling back. And then that surprises me. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell? Oh, the trip time. I started the trip at 4.40. Got to the other end at 5.32. Some of you suggested, you know, trip times. That's all this thing is, this piece of wood. So from North Church Road all the way down. Now, mind you, this is including stops. North Church Road all the way down to Hassel or Holly, what was it? <sighs> Too many H names around here. Anyway, that road back there is like 50 minutes. That was with stops. So 
looks like about a mile for that little segment. Alright, this next part of the video is the stone, I'm gonna call it the stone wall speed run. This the stone wall is gonna be on this side, then we're gonna go through it, and it'll be on this other side. So, stone wall speed run. Let me show you, this shows you extensively without the cut and paste on how long the stone wall is. We're starting here. So, here we go. This does mark also out of the whole five mile trail. This would be about halfway. So that's a significance there. I call this the halfway mark on the whole five mile segment. It'd be nice to get a hold of a property survey from the 1700s <laughs> or whenever to see exactly if these line up. <laughs> I got to stick out my shoe. <laughs> In here, there's an opening. It's like it would have been an entrance in there. That seems to find in too. Here's where we cut through it.
again you can see the old growth pine forest and it looked like recently logged you know way back when it was logged that would have been an open up field it looks like and you can see it right here old new That's it. Broccoli stops right there. The end. Just hiking back up to the Winona way to finish this leg of the journey. Thought this was a good shot from the access road. through the fashion. Another front moving in so it's windy and cloudy again. Yay. Ooh, that was quite a hike. <laughs> oh yeah. We're gonna have a nice grand finale here. The wind's picked up. Cold front moving in so it started getting windy. And I parked way down there and hiked the access road up to where I am now. That's quite a hike. That's me in the side of the road there. That's the parking area for Bill's Belly. But we walked here all the way up here. Went on the way, Holly Road. Remember all this yesterday. Unfortunately, you know, it's not raining out, so that's the only good thing, but the time it took me to get out here and everything it was the sun was shining now it's cold and cloudy and <laughs> now the wind's picking up real bad here we go we may wrap this up today well no one's on the way not the best of days but <laughs> you gotta work what you got like I said, at least it ain't raining. A little hole over there. Is that a foundation? No, oh, it's just a big creepy hole. And it begins. Well, so far not much to see. Uh, coming up the Sally's Ride Trail intersection. For those that have seen the Sally's Ride video, that's one worth watching too. 
guess this is what's going on here. Went on the way, goes this way. Sally's your aim goes that way. <laughs> From here, it looks like it dead ends, but it actually goes somewhere. <laughs> Let's get on with it. <laughs> so creepy. Really not much on this part of the trail. This area got obliterated. What is that? Look past the tree I'm showing you. Another one of them rock wall things. You obviously see this property boundary. You got a rock wall here and a rock wall here. You got this nice gentle decline. Huh. Now what would that have been for? The road's over here. And I just can't. <laughs> if the wind noise is going to be a pain in the butt. I just can't comprehend that and see the rock wall obviously you see the property boundaries and then right over here you get another rock wall I'll show you like at the other end of the trail when we, when we started hiking that end there's like two rock walls right there so that had to be a path for some anybody have any idea what that would have been obviously there's a purpose for the rock wall to be here and there and it's like a trench right down through there. It's not big enough for a carriage or anything to be a road. Huh. I thought that was interesting.
That reminds me of an old railroad cut. <laughs> it still baffles me. Looks like I got a little issue up ahead here already. I don't know if the trail curves or not. Something extensive. They, oh, they logged it. This has been logged. Huh. It's like, oh, what's up with this clearing? They must have used one on the way to log this out. This must have been where they loaded them. Almost looks like it was done last fall. Now let's say that because you can still see the skitter tracks when they cleaned all this up. This is definitely big enough for a vehicle to get through. <laughs> uh, I guess we're coming up to the end of the trail, folks. If you look way up there, I think I see a stop sign. So far ahead still, the camera's out of focus. Well, I know at some point we crossed Bill's belly, but to be honest, you know, the first part, this would be the first part, there really isn't much to see if you're coming in from the number one parking area by Bill's belly. You're probably better off starting somewhere in the middle or at the end of the other end and coming this way. So it really wasn't much for that whole trip. It definitely gets worth it toward the other end. Alright, we're about to cross Bill's Belly Trail. That stop sign's getting closer. There's Bill's Belly.
the other material. Oh. An animal sighting. Oh, um, nothing like your grand finale there, huh? And here we are at Wart Road. So, all well, that sign's a little wasted. So that's it, that's the Winona Way. Oh, uh, yeah, that sign got smashed. We just emptied that on the Wart Road right here. Not much to look at, it's a hilly road. Enough for a vehicle parking area, maybe two if you bring company. That should be the sign marker for the one on the way, but somebody did away with the way. Oh yeah, I'll just see you right here. Hope we've enjoyed it. That's five miles in a nutshell. Uh, you're not going to look at that. Just gonna peek over and see what that is. There's something sus, sus over here. Uh, yep, that's what I thought. Ah, let's try to keep that out of the view. That's that. Okay. The new weather system moving in. It was 55 degrees earlier, now it's like in the 40s, maybe pushing 30. So I'm gonna go back on the known away, take Bill's belly back to my vehicle. I'm not a fan for roadways, so I'd rather walk the trail back. And as of what I've seen on this first part, this would be the first part if you parked over in the parking lot, I'd prefer maybe you take Bill's belly over to the <laughs> Castle Road, there really wasn't much to see until you get on the opposite side of Hessel Road. And then when on the way becomes a nice trail. Those are my personal thoughts. Because where it got on with the, today's part of the episode really wasn't much to look at. Alright, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and the only thing we have left to do in Winona Forest is ATV trails that were too, trails that are too muddy that at the time that I'd have to revisit here when it dries up, if it dries up. <laughs> so, hope you've enjoyed. Stay safe.